For this type of question, students seem to have the most trouble with A, and it's generally algebraic errors. So let's go through and use A with this function. Now, what I have to do is anywhere I see the X, I need to replace it in parentheses with X plus H. So my first term will be X plus H squared, and then minus 2 times x plus h. You need to remember to use parentheses. Now I'm going to subtract the original function, but I'm again going to use parentheses because otherwise it's very easy to lose track of the fact I'm subtracting that entire term. And this is all divided by h. And I'll give you a hint, all of these problems will always work out that that h ends up being divided away. So let's go ahead and multiply out the x plus h squared, and that works out to be x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. If it helps you to write out x plus h squared as x plus h times x plus h, please do so, because if you write that x plus h all squared is equal to x squared plus h squared, you will get a sad face when I grade your exam, and it won't end well. So make sure you properly multiply those binomials. Continuing on, we need to use the distributive property for both next terms, and now we can see that a couple of things add to zero. That is, x squared minus x squared is zero, and negative 2x and positive 2x add to zero. So what does that leave us? That leaves us 2xh plus h squared minus 2h in the numerator. And in all three of those terms, there's a factor of h. So I'm going to rewrite this as this. And I see I can divide out an h out of both my numerator and denominator. So my final answer is 2x plus h minus 2. And that's the answer to part a. For part b, we are now using our original fx with just x as the input and then subtracting from that the same function but instead of x we're using a. So in the denominator we have x minus a. So we're going to have the same thing as part a where the h always gets divided out. In this case the x minus a is going to be divided out. So let's see how that can happen. Alright, I don't see much hope right now. So I'm going to play around with this until I can come up with something where I'll be able to divide out that x minus a. The first thing I'm going to try is to group the x squared and the a squared together, and then group together the negative 2x and the 2a together. So if I look at the x squared minus a squared, I remember that if I have a difference of squares, that's factorable. That is, x plus a times x minus a is equal to x squared minus a squared. So I've gone ahead and factored the first group I have. And I'm happy because I see an x minus a, which is what I'm looking for. So can I factor something out of the second group to get me to x minus a? And I think I can. I think I can factor out a negative 2. And when I do that, I get x minus a. So now, just to be careful, I'm going to go ahead and explicitly factor out the x minus a out of what's in the numerator. You don't have to use parentheses in the denominator, but I think sometimes it makes it more clear what's going on. So this is equal to x plus a minus 2. And that's our final answer for part b.